Hey there guys, it's Tina and I am back and I am looking very Steve Jobs today. I know, I know he wore a black t-shirt, not necessarily a black turtleneck. I'm sure he wore a black turtleneck at some point if it was cold outside, but I digress. This video is the first of a series I want to start here on my channel called the Stash Series and it's where I'm going to go through my stash with you guys. I've been asked to do an updated collection video for the longest time and I did collection videos starting out on my channel when collection videos were the thing to do. Like everybody wanted to showcase their collection and share it with you guys. And since then it has evolved into this showy thing that I don't quite like. Like I don't, I, I really don't love doing that. But I figured can we do it a little bit different instead of doing like a full collection let's break it up into pieces and I've done this before where I showed my highlighter drawer I showed my palettes so I think I want to do that again but I want to really break it down into smaller chunks not necessarily themed but I want to show you like different drawers that I have behind me and I do organize my products by category in the drawers so it's still gonna have some cohesiveness to it it's just it's gonna be by drawers so I want to go ahead and share my stash with you guys just in little chunks and I think that's more digestible and I think that will be more enjoyable because that way I get to go into more details with each product probably do some swatches because I know you guys love swatches and just have fun with makeup and revisiting my stash and rediscovering products that I love so without much further ado let's go ahead and kick this off and start out with the first series of drawers all right guys so I figured we could start out by going through my backup drawers since I'm on a makeup journey I'm not really buying a ton of makeup anymore and I've kind of restricted myself on certain categories so like eye pencils mascara and all that I'm not buying any of those so I wanted to show you the things that I have in backup and this is why I'm not purchasing anymore because I have all these products so this is an Alex nine drawer system it is the really tall drawer system but it's very narrow and the drawers don't pull out all the way so I just use it for my backup products so in the first drawer I have eyebrow products so I have a ton of benefits precisely my brow because I am in love with this pencil I use shade 4.5 as you can see I also like shade number six so I have a ton of these I bought these when they were on sale they were 50% off at Sephora so I got a ton of backups benefit also sent me some of their brow boxes so I have a couple of their other brow products so I have them all in this drawer so we have the benefit high brow pencil this is a highlighter pencil so I'll show you this really quickly so this has the pink tint to it so you use it under your brows as a highlight product I also have Cabrow from them and Cabrow is their gel product so it's in this little jar and it has the built-in brush so you pop the brush off and you can use the top as a applicator so I do like these products a lot so thank you to benefit for sending me these so I have two of these in shade 6 I also have the goof proof pencil this is the one with the larger wedge shape pencil which I don't really like this kind of pencil and I haven't tried this actual one from benefit so maybe I'll change my mind but the other ones I've tried I haven't liked I also have their brow setter which I absolutely absolutely love it's a great brow gel it really sets the hairs in place so it's just a clear brow gel but it has this comb applicator and I'm telling you right now this really works well it's better than the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel to me but I also like the Anastasia one so I have these things from Benefit then I have the 3D brow tones this is in shade number four this guy is another gel product for your brows but it's tinted so this is the brown and it has like an interesting tip I shouldn't be opening all these products because they're supposed to be backups y'all have me over here opening all my products so we have two of those speaking of the clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills I have two backups here 
I also have one of the tinted brow gels. This one is in the shade Espresso, so it's a darker tinted brow gel, but I have these. I love these as well, but I prefer the Benefit one just for its hold. I also have the Pro Long Wear Brow Set from MAC. This is in the shade Ebony or Brown Ebony. This is the dark shade that they have, so I have a couple of those. Then I also have brow pencils from Anastasia Beverly Hills, so these are the Brow Wiz. I used to love the Brow Wiz. I don't use the Brow Wiz as much anymore, but I still have a couple of backups. So I have Dark Brown, Medium Brown, Ebony. Those are my matching shades. I'm making a mess of my drawers to show you guys. We will reorganize. I also have my favorite drugstore brow pencil. It's from BH Cosmetics. It's their HD brow pencil. And the shade I use, does it say it on this? It should just be dark. I got these on sale, so I have tons of these. So I keep those over there. I also have a NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Love this as well. And then I have my Urban Decay Brow Beater Pencils. This is the original brow pencil from Urban Decay. This is before they came out with the new brow products. But I love this pencil so much. So I have all those there. All of those gathered up in a corner. And then in addition to that, I have two brow gels from BH Cosmetics. So these are just clear brow gels. Again, an affordable alternative to the other brow gels I have. I have a couple of bases in here too. So I have like the MAC mix in medium this is the eyeliner mix in medium it's really good for loose pigments or glitter it really helps with adhesion then I have a NYX glitter primer I also have oh I have a Zoeva eyeshadow fix this I bought when I got um, some things from Zoeva I don't really like Zoeva that much to be honest but I have like a couple of things from them I have the browsings from Benefit these are their brow powder duos or whatever. Let me see. They're brow powders. I don't know if they're just duos or trios. Yeah, they're just duos. So they have the brow powder and the wax with the little applicators. So I have two of those. Again, these are from Benefit. They sent them to me in like brow boxes when they were sending out PR. I also have the foolproof brow powder. I think I have one of these in my drawer already that I'm using but I'll show it to you anyway so this one is again like a duo but it's both both shades are powder so it's a darker shade and then a lighter shade with the little applicator Benefit really did a great job with their brow products and they've expanded since the last release so they have more shades now. I know they added a shade for Auburn hair or Redheads so it's more red tinted because Redheads were always like, oh, where are my shades? And they're like, oh, just use blonde. And they're like, oh, we don't want to use the blonde. Can you give us something? So they finally came out with a Redhead shade. And then I have Remel Brow This Way Lightweight brow gel. This was also sent to me. Remo sent me a few things for PR so that's where I have all that. Alright, I'm gonna organize this later because y'all made me make a mess. But that's fine. Like, I know where to find stuff. I, I It's fine. Things are fine. Then in the next drawer, it's just a mishmash. Alright, it's a lot going on. Let me change the angle a little bit. Alright, here we are. So now I have my primers and like backups of a few foundations. So I'll show you what I have here. So I'll show you this set of stuff. So I have my Paula's Choice Lip Balm. So this packaging has changed. I'll show you one of my uh, empties. So here's what it used to look like and now it looks like this. So this is SPF, I believe 50, yeah. So it's my lip balm of choice. When I go outside, I use this on my lips because people don't realize that your lips need lip balm and they need sunscreen too. You neglect to protect your lips and this is what this does for me and I love this lip balm so much. So I have like quite a few backups because I buy them on sale and they don't really go bad and I go through them like crazy because I use them every day. And then I bought quite a few backups of the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Eyeshadow Primer. This is what I use for my brows. When these were on sale, I had an inkling that they were redoing it or they were going to discontinue it. So I went ahead and picked them up. They were $5 a pop. I think I even got like a further discount on them. So I picked up a few of these and then I have, these are my brush guards. So I just have them in here. But those are like my hella backups that I love, love, love. Then I have my MAC Giga Black Lash Mascara. This is for my lower lashes. 
Oh my god, you guys know that I love this. If you watch my channel, you know I use this for my lower lashes. So I love this so much. I have a Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer. This is the photo finish primer. And then I have a few foundations. So one that I picked up was the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel. The shade I have is Coco Light 82. I haven't pulled this out because I, I want to use up some more of my foundations, but I have backups. Becca sent me a couple of their products. No, actually, this is discontinued. I purchased this off Holt Look. So, Becca, this is the Radiant Skin Finish Foundation. The Radiant Skin Satin Finish Foundation. The shade is Tobacco. So, this they discontinued, and I really like the finish of this. So, I picked up two of those. So, I have those two there. I have a Mix and Medium from MAC which is useful for loose pigments and also for like glitters, but it's a great mix and medium. Um, when MAC kicked me off their pro discount list, I was like, oh my God, I better hurry up and get this. So I got this. I have an Acne Solutions BB Cream from Clinique. Love this, this is great for the summertime. I have a Stila Stay All Day Foundation in tan. I think they discontinued this as well. This is the one with the concealer shade on top. So it has the foundation here. No, I'm lying. This is the pump one, so you press it and pump it up. That's, yeah. This is a great foundation as well. I think this was on sale, which is why I got it. I don't think I really needed a backup because I don't love it that much. It ain't that serious. I also have the Kat Von D. Yes, I know. The Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer. When this was being discontinued as well, I stocked up because I love this eyeshadow primer for intensifying eyeshadows. It's better than the P. Louise one. Just take my word for it. Then I have a Deep Dark Brunette. This is a brow gel from MAC. I should never have bought a backup of this. I can't even open it. But um, it's just like the Dip Brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I prefer this over Dip Brow because it's not as intense. It won't get away from you as quickly. Dip Brow can go 0 to 100 real quick and I ain't got the energy. So I got the MAC one. I have Blanc Type from MAC before they discontinued my baby. Oh my god, I had to have a backup. Listen, Blanc Type is everything. Why did MAC discontinue the matte square eyeshadows? That is blasphemy. It's an insult. I'm upset. I also have Clarity, which is this bold blue. This is also a matte squared. Oh my god, these were so gorgeous. I don't know what they were thinking. I have Showstopper, which is a really dark brown. I used to use this for my brows. And that's why I have a backup. I probably will never use this though because I have brow powders now. But that's what I used to use for my brows. And I have this eyeshadow from Smashbox. And new, this is what I used to use as my transition blending shade if it would come out the packaging. It has the rubberized, oh my god, the rubberized texture which actually gets really sticky over time. But this is one of the first eyeshadows I ever used up. So I have a backup. I think I went through two of these already. So have my last backup there look look at this treasure guys oh my god this is makeup forever number 92 yes you can't have it it's mine thank you thank you so much actually hit pan on my first one so I have this just in the cut holding it down do you guys remember this this is babe cake eyeliner from benefit so I don't think they make this anymore, but this is a cake eyeliner. For those of you who don't know, a cake eyeliner is a powder product that you add water to and it becomes a liquid liner. Babe Cake was killing it. They should still make this because this was fire. This is hella fire. And then I have my last backup of my EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. The shade I wear is 14. No, they changed this. This is it 14 now? Yeah, 14. I love this foundation. I think I have two. I opened one and brought one on vacation. So I think I have two going. So I still have a ways to go, but I have my last one. My um, Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Of course, we have them on standby. And you guys know, if you know me, that I have hella backups of the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation in what shade? Repeat after me medium dark golden so those are my babies so i have like a ton of these if i open another drawer you see more don't judge me these were discount are they discontinued but they were always on sale so anytime something goes on sale i'm like uh-uh y'all trying to discontinue this stuff and i will not be like samantha ravindall and be without my favorite products i refuse now here is another drawer that has backups of 
fun products, fun stuff, you know, things, things. Down here I have mascaras and like, um, I have my, I don't know why I have this. I should really get rid of this. This is the lash adhesive remover from Revlon. I actually purchased these thinking it was the lash glue because Revlon, excuse me, Revlon, you are just shameful. They discontinued their lash glue, which was one of their best products. Like, excuse me, who are you? So I purchased these thinking it was the lash glue, but it's the remover. So I'm like, uh, trash. I don't, I really, I really don't need those. I don't want them. I don't want it. All right. I have a Josie Marin, um, Surreal Skin Finishing Balm. Love this primer. This is one of my favorite primers of all time. It's so good for your skin. It, you don't even, like, I don't, nobody talks about it. And I'm like, but why? They're so good. Come on. Then I have these from Tarte, the Chrome Paints. I ended up making an order from Tarte. Let's, let me tell you. I purchased these from Tarte, right, during a sale, and they ended up sending this twice. And I don't know, like, what is going on. So I think I might do a giveaway or something with these. So I have, whoa, I have four of the shades. I have Beach Babe. Um, sun kissed something, sun drenched, froze, and pot of gold. So I might, I, I'm thinking about things. I don't know what to do with those. I have a glam, what is this? Glam glow pout mud wet lip balm treatment. So I have the huge one to this. Where is my huge one? Oh, here it is. So I have this on my dresser drawer, right? This is fantastic. I love this lip balm. This is a really nice lip balm. But I'm like, I don't need this big ass cube all the time. So not a cube globe. So I got the little mini cube. I got this at the, I'm not gonna, oh, it, it's sealed. So this is from the, the makeup, the company store, the company, the whatever, the Estee Lauder company store. And they had these on sale. So I picked up a little one of that. Then I have, all right, let's, let's see. What do we have? We have the remover again from Revlon, which I don't care about. I have the lash glue. So I have two of the lash glues. Thank God for Small Miracles. I was able to find two, but oh my God, I love those. Then I have, oh, let me show you the mascara. So I have my Too Faced, whoop, Too Faced Better Than Sex. As you know, I have many of the Too Faced because I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Then I have the... This is the Elizabeth Arden Grand Entrance Mascara, which I also absolutely love. So I have a couple of backups of that. That's how you know I love it, when I have backups. Then I have, what is this, Shape Tape Conce... Oh, I Shape Tape. I have a Shape Tape Concealer in shade Deep. So that's that guy. This is a little dark for my skin, but it, it, it's fine. I like darker conceal... I don't like darker concealers, but I like concealers that are more my skin tone. I have a Smashbox X-rated mascara as well. What other mascaras do we have? Physician's Formula. Um, I don't know how I feel about Physician's Formula, but I have two other mascaras to try out, so we'll see about those. I have a Dior Blackout Backstage and then the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. This is a black mascara primer. And then I have my Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation in medium dark golden and I also oops I also have black up two-way cakes this is in shade TW2 and TW3 these were on sale as well at Sephora they discontinued black up from Sephora I don't know if they're discontinued all together but I have a couple of those and I also have one of their loose powders because I do actually like those powder foundations I have some lipsticks in here so I have from color pop I have cinnamon Chocolatier, and I thought I had something else, but uh, apparently not. Is this another? Oh my god, like how many freaking removers? Arrgh! I'm so mad. I whew, praise Jesus. So I have these lipsticks. I also have, I thought I saw a MAC lipstick in here. Yeah, this is from MAC. It is Absolute Power. This came out with, was that, what collection was that? It was like a powerful women collection. That's all I know, and this is a, a blue based matte red oh my god this is so beautiful and so let me smell it still smells good but it's nearing end of life i'm sure because it's old and then i have some random eyeliners so i have 
this I think I this the LA girl ultimate eyeliner because people are talking about this. I was like, let me try it. I don't like it. Um, I have the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. I have a Sex Kitten Eyeliner. This is a liquid eyeliner from Tarte. I actually do like that. I have the Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in Perversion, which I love, love, love. So I have Demolition as well. Don't know. Demolition is like a dark brown. Then I have two of the Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes in Black. These are really great. And then under here, I have a tattoo liner from Kat Von D. I think I just, I don't know. And then I have a Conceal and Correct Duo from MAC. I have two of them. Rich Yellow Burnt Coral and Pure Orange Soft Ochre. I mean Ochre. Not Soft Ochre. That's a paint pot. But these are the duo with the corrector shades. Yes. Yeah. So I got backups of those. Because I was really using those a lot for a while. But I never completely used one up. So I would need a backup. But you know. It is what it is. I have my Sephora concealers that I love. This is shade 12 and 14. And then I have my Naked Skin um, Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Again, if you know me, you know I love these. So I have two of the medium dark neutrals and one dark neutral. I need to start using those up, but I've been enjoying some other concealers lately. Then we're getting down to the wire, not too much left. So I have two matte brush cleaners here. Regular old brush cleaner. I have a MAC Lightful Marine Bright Formula. This actually used to clean my brushes. So these are like tools up in this joint. Then we have a Mineralize Volcano Ash Exfoliator. Remember when this was all the jam? What happened? What happened? I got a backup from then. That can probably go away. Then I have a NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Guys, Sheer Glow was my thing, okay? Sheer Glow was it. And I so I have one. I have a Perfection Lumiere from... Chanel, can you imagine? Long wear of love. I will share this beige ambre. You know this ain't my shade. Let me see. Okay, I might want to use. I might try this out in the summertime. We will see. We will see. And I have a pro long wear, which I also love. This was NC. This is NC, not was, but is NC forty five. That is hella. Okay, we could get rid of that. That is so separated. What if I shake it up? Will that do something? Nah, we need to. Okay, we can get rid of that. Thank you so much for participating. We have Hourglass Foundation. This is the Immaculate Liquid Foundation in the shade Warm Beige. I don't think this is my shade, though. I don't think this is my shade. I have to double check, but I might give this away. I have a Sonia Kashuk Makeup Remover. I think this may have been discontinued because Sonia Kashuk redid her whole line. She's no longer a creative director. I don't even think she's an owner anymore like it's just her name now but her eye makeup remover is the jam it is so boss i was laughing today with one of my subscribers about my black cotton swab she was like i've never seen them before and then she went back to a video from 2017 and she's like oh, again here comes the black cotton swabs that i've never seen before yeah these are from sephora they're the detox it out they're actually charcoal cotton swabs so they're black and I love these. These went on sale again and I was like, all right, stock up because I really do like them. So I have many backups there. I also have a Sephora tape. This is for when you want to do like a sharp outer, outer cut crease or not cut crease, like a sharp line on your outer lid and you want to use tape that is meant for your eye. I don't know. I, fast, I'm going to fast. I'm going to buy some other tape. And then I also have the e.l.f. tapes as well. These are called the Line and Define Eye Tape. This was while Elf was still in store and I was able to put them up in store. Elf is no longer in store, but these tapes are actually really cool. Then I have clear caps for um, MAC lipstick. I picked up a few of those, so I have those as backups. Then I have two of my sponges from Shuomura. These I got while I was in Japan and I love these. They're so good. And then I have two backup sharpeners from Boutique. These are in Sally stores. These are really great sharp sharpeners that do a really good job of sharpening pencils. So that's that, and then I think that's it. We only have a couple of things down here, but these are like collection products. So I have my highlight powder. This was from, it was a marine collection. It was something to do with the like the ocean and what, listen, I don't remember. I do not remember, but this was a highlight powder in Crew, and they did the, the nautical theme. It was so pretty. Never used it, just kept it because it's so pretty. And they had the glittery box and oh, so good. So I have that. 
I also have, okay, guys, guys, guys. This is before they released the um, this ombre blush. This is the Ripe Peach Blush Ombre. Everybody went berserks over these. And I have a backup because I kept it and I loved it. And I still didn't use up the other one yet. But this is a really good, good color. I, I got this color because I knew if I was going to use any, it would be that one. I also have this street art eyeshadow. This is from a street art collection. MAC used to do some fun things. I mean, they still do, I guess. But look at this. It was like a graffiti design. Open up, comment already for you. It was a graffiti design. And look at that. And it says New York. Like, how could I not get it? Like, look. That is fucking fantastic. I'm sorry to curse, but look. Isn't that sexy? So I was like, uh-uh, I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to keep that. So I've got this for collection only. I'll never use it. And then the other thing I got from that was the in app the abstract highlighter, which I think is from the same collection. But this guy is I don't know if you can you see? Isn't that that's fantastic. That is so nice to look at. So I kept these. These are my only like collection collection products i mean i have others too but these are ones that i actually have for collection purposes and then i have my Shiso shiseido cotton pads i have a few of those and i have my small um cotton swabs these i got at the makeup show from like nigels or one of those but that's it those are all my products in my backup drawers and i figured i would share them with you and you know have some fun with it so there you go that's all of it so pretty collection things some face stuff some cleanser stuff some tape mascara foundation eyeliner brow products primers foundations again Ooh, fun times Alright guys, so I hope that was as much fun for you as it was for me because who doesn't love playing with makeup and just going through and seeing the products that you've picked up and just rediscovering why you love them in the first place. So we're going to keep this series going so stay tuned for the other episodes. I will go ahead and start like a playlist. Can we do that? Do a playlist so you can check out the other videos as they go live and we'll have some more fun. So let me know if you want me to go into any further details as well because I can also do that and mix it up a bit. But for now, we're just going to start going through the drawers and having fun. I will go ahead and list my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat down below. So you should definitely go ahead and follow me along. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel and you definitely want to keep up with the series, then... You should hit subscribe, right? And if you like this video, definitely hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment. Let me know what product of all of this that we just went through was your favorite or like the few items that were your favorites. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye, guys.